All right, why don't you tell us, Kenny, just how you're a very dominant performance. He's a lot of your wrestling, elbows on top. How do you, do you feel about that performance? Uh, actually, I was a little disappointed. I, I didn't feel like I was getting off as many elbows and punches as I needed. I think there was a couple of situations when uh, if I had a little bit more speed with my punches and elbows that I could have got a stoppage. So I was... I, you know, I think I always try to get what more. So uh, I was actually a little disappointed. And then when they said 26, 30, I was really shocked. You were actually going for a few submissions in there. You had a Kimura going, then you changed it over to an arm bar. Were you surprised how difficult it was to really lock one in on him? I was really, uh, when I hit the, uh, I can't remember if it was a key lock or uh, what it was, but uh a couple of times on those submissions, I was just using them to like kind of set up for position. But he had a good lock on my leg. I really like to work out a side, and uh, I wasn't able to get where I wanted it to be. So he was actually really good at keeping that foot stuck in there. Um, but I was, yeah, I always go for the finish. So this is what I do. There was a moment when you had a key lock. Did you feel you were close to sinking it in? Yeah, I thought that I could just crank it over the top, but then I was just a little too high, and I just felt my position was off. So I. That's when I slid back down, and then he got better position on me. So All of your losses in the UFC are by decision. This is only the second time in your career you've won a fight by decision. How does it feel knowing that you can go the distance and win? Uh, you know, I've always thought I could. It's just a matter of, uh, of being able to do it. I th most of my losses by decision, the first loss was definitely uh, just a shape thing. I took a fight on short notice. And then uh, the second one I thought I won, but it's one of those things that just... The judges scored how they're going to score. You know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't never have to leave it up to the judge. It happened today, but uh, I, I don't ever like to leave it to the judges, even if it is a dominant performance. Yeah. Uh, do you, this is your second one in a row now. Do you have any idea what you'd like next? Uh, just another fight. Um, I'd like to fight again uh, late July, early uh, August, but uh, we'll see what they do. Is there anybody in particular that you'd like to fight? Oh, I'm not picky. I just take whoever they give me. Think actually of the the 170 division right now. There's a lot of movement. And there's a lot of opportunity for movement right now. Oh, I love it. It's it's crazy. I think it's the most stacked weight class in the UFC right now. You've got so many guys scrambling for that title position, and so many just truly amazing athletes that are just just beating the hell out of each other for the, to move up on the rankings. Who do you think's gonna take the fight, uh, Robbie Lawler or Matt Brown? I think Lawler will get him. I like him a lot. Do you like the idea of Rory McDonald and Tarek Safadine? Um, I don't really, I don't really care. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about just uh, the evolution of your own submission game and kind of some of the key people you've worked with that we, we've gotten to see uh, quite a lot of, especially over the past 18 months to two years? Um, you know, I've traveled, I travel all over the place. I don't really have like one particular gym I work out. I mean, I've worked with, uh, when Matt opened, Matt Hughes opened up his gym, I went down there a couple times and worked with Matt Veach and uh, I've worked with Robbie Lawler when he was down there and uh, Dan Hornbuckle and you know I, I travel around and go wherever wherever I can um, my my jits if you call that I just call it dirty wrestling uh, is just I pick a little bit from here and there and whatever works it's really came very easily off of the style of wrestling I had so it was a lot of scrambles and a lot of unique wrestling and it kind of flowed into my uh, Jits. It's kind of a flow type of deal. Sometimes painful.